Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of one and two step multiplication and division problems. This is standard 3.4K in the great state of Texas. We are using item number four off the third grade redesign practice online test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So it looks like a pretty simple problem here. Uh, teacher bought 18 red markers and then six boxes of blue. Each box had 10 blue markers. What is the total number of markers that the teacher bought? All right, so this is where in our paper and pencil test, we would start drawing pictures and boxes and red markers blue markers, but we don't necessarily have that. We do have that notepad that I showed earlier, which just lets you type. That's all it lets you do, so not super helpful. But it's this graphing tool that I think is going to be very, very helpful. So we can, we can make it big or we can make it small by that button up there in the top right. And check how we can, we can adjust the transparency. So we can change it to where it, it's almost gone. And we could also change it to where what's behind it is almost gone. So I kind of like to do that middle point so I can draw. It's like I'm drawing on the test. We could change the grid size if we need to, if the boxes really matter. In this case, they don't. Then we could also change our line colors. Now, a teacher's going to buy 18 red markers. So watch this. So I'm going to add points. And what I'm going to do is instead of drawing, normally I would just draw 18 markers. But I'm just going to add some red dots here. This is the add point feature, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I'm going to just add a little array here. I'm going to change the draw feature, right? And so this is a six by three. So here's my 18 red markers. And so I just made a little array. Now here's what's interesting is now that I've got my 18 red markers, I've got six boxes, okay? So the boxes are blue markers, so I can change to blue. And I'm going to use my connect line right here to draw some boxes. So let me draw, let's see, I thought I changed that to blue. There we go. Let's make that, I guess the connect line is going to be uh, just red. So let's, oh, there we go. It made that blue. That's kind of strange. That's fine. All right, so we've got one box. I'm just going to draw some boxes here. And we've got two boxes. And I'm just going to keep going here until I get my six boxes. So this is going to be my nice visual picture. Oops. You have to kind of let go in order for it to register that you want that point to be there. If not, if you keep dragging, it's going to show that you think that you want to do a diagonal line. All right, so here's my one, two, three, four, five. All right, so there's my six boxes of blue. Now, each box has 10 markers. Okay, so there's no fill-in feature. I wish there was a nice fill-in feature. So I'm just going to draw, and I'm just going to just put the number 10, okay? Uh, it would take a little bit too long to draw those uh, 10 little dots, but you could if you really wanted to. You could just put the 10 dots in there, uh, but just to kind of save time. And that one is right on that line, so it's kind of hard to see. Okay, so what is the total number of markers that the teacher bought? Well, look what I did here. I've got my boxes of markers, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got six times 10, right? And then I've got this uh, 18 markers right here. So I've got my 18 markers. So I'm gonna change that back to red. And I need to add that to my six plus 10, or six times 10. Well, what is my six times 10? Well, six times 10 is 60. So I need to take my 18 markers, I need to add that to the 60 markers, and that is going to be a 78. 